Sports is brought to you by Jim White Honda. It was an important Saturday in high school football in Michigan. It's the state final four, a win, and you're playing for a state championship. And in Ohio, it was regional finals night. The Elite Eight trimmed down to the final four. We're going to start tonight in Ohio, Division Five regional final between Ottawa Glandorf and Elyria Catholic. This one out at Clyde High School. First Titan drive, third and 11. Landon Jordan to Walker Budelmeyer. For the first down, that keeps the drive alive. And then OG down inside the 10. Jordan is going to throw to his left. Colin White on the other end of that makes the grab and into the end zone. Ottawa Glandorf wins the regional final 31 to 6. The Titans are headed to the state final four where they will face the three time defending state champion in Kirtland. And in Division 6, Liberty Center coming off a huge upset win over Archbold. Tonight they're facing Carey, who's number 8 in Ohio. Tigers weren't intimidated early. March down the field here on their opening drive. Zane Zeitler keeps it. Liberty Center had an early 7-0 lead, but Carey answered right back. They just kept coming. Derek Longsway launching it deep downfield. Third down and 17, he hits Bryce Conti, who lays out and makes the grab. That led to a touchdown. Carey was up 23-7. And then the fourth quarter, they put it away here. Jordan Vallejo, six foot one, 265, a human wrecking ball. And for the first time since 1994, Carey wins the regional title 31 to 7. Started in January. Uh, a lot of these seniors started in the weight room with me in, J in January, and it's been a long road. Um, they worked their tails off to get to this point. Um, and I, I, I can't say enough about the seniors. The juniors are filled in really great for us. They've also worked their tails off, and we've got a couple sophomores that have really stepped it up that when we needed it. I mean, just the fact that these guys made it this far. We were picked fourth in the league this year, and uh, you know, this is a senior class at junior high. I think won two games, won no games in ninth grade. So for them to come out here and work hard, stick with the program, and, and accomplish what they did is pretty awesome. And in Division 7, the regional final from Donnell Stadium down in Finley. Hopewell, Loudon taking on Lima Central Catholic. First quarter, Chieftains were down 6-0, but they get on the board here. Hayden Welly from just a few yards out punches it in. Hopewell, Loudon up 7-6. Later, the Chieftains were leading 12-6. After a fumble recovery, they turn it into points. Ashton Bohr with a deep ball to Sharon Jones. He hauls it in, shrugs off a defender, turns on the Jets, and nobody's going to catch him. 97 yards to the house for the touchdown in the second quarter. Just before half, Boer rolls to his left, and he hits it in the end zone from just a few yards out. Hopewell Loudon advances to the state semifinal, 54-26 the final. That's amazing. Uh, what happened last year, we got beat, and we didn't get there. And this year, we got it, and it feels, it's the best feeling in the world. We had guys make plays everywhere. You know, our, our quarterback was unbelievable tonight. Um, you know, Sean and Devin made Falder make great plays um, as receivers, and, and then we wore them down. That's what we do. Just how hard all the seniors have worked. Our 16 seniors, our O line, and all of our wider series. You know, they, we've all worked hard all, all season. Now up in Michigan, Whiteford playing in the Division 8 state semifinal at Adrian College against Hudson. First quarter, Bobcats get on the board here. Shea Ruddy, the pass over the middle for Cole Gisagi. He hauls it in and takes it all the way to the end zone for the touchdown. Whiteford up 8-0 just a few minutes into this one. And then later in the first quarter, they'd add to that lead. Ruddy rolls, looking, and eventually tucks it, finds some open space on the right side, weaving his way in for the touchdown. Bobcats took a 22-0 lead into the half. In the second half, Hudson makes a push. Here, this touchdown, part of 28 unanswered points for the Tigers. They take a 28-22 lead. Whiteford put together a good drive in the closing seconds, but in the red zone, on fourth down, Ruddy keeps it. He is short of the first down. Whiteford loses a heartbreaker in the state semifinal, 28-22.